In the previous lecture, we have seen how to switch between user template view and Django admin. Now, in this lecture, we'll see how to send email when any new user is registered from our web app or website. So, now we'll see the most important and uh, the most crucial or precious, you can say that, uh, topic which is uh, send email from the Django whenever a user register himself or herself and this is pretty much important so just be careful and uh, pay attention over here and uh, so just go through the Google and Django send mail just write it down and uh, just open this link and uh, just go through the Django sending email okay so Django provides the default email functionality which uh, we'll use in this session so here is the quick example in two lines so to send email a static email first we'll see static email uh, just uh, we'll give uh, the static values and after that we'll see how to send email dynamically whenever any user register from our site but here uh, one thing I want to tell you that uh, will not send any email to any email address because uh, this will not be confidential whenever we send an email to an email address so I'll just show you how to send email how to use this send email functionality what are the parameters how to use it dynamically and so on so here is the all documentation sending email send mail send mass mail mail admin send mass mail versus send mail mail managers and so on so email message message object and uh, something like that so let's see how to use them and uh, okay so just go to the register view our views dot py and uh, go through the register view and uh, we'll use send email just uh, copy this first we need to import this so just copy and paste over here okay send email to use the email functionality and uh, go to this just copy this paste it over here okay fine so what what does this mean just uh, send mail is the is the function to send the email to any user so subject will be here this is the parameters which we can set over here and uh, this is the this is what we this is the message what we need to send in the body of the mail this is the email from which the mail is to be sent this is the mail in uh, to which the mail will be sent and fail silently that's mean, that means if uh, mail if any email address is not uh, correct or uh, if we want to bounce the mail whenever is there any problem whenever there is any problem then uh, we need to define explicitly fail underscore silently is equal to false if will make a true over here it will not bounce the email in our email address so fine so here we need to give the subject so subject of mail just uh, for example we can give a library as of our project uh, context so library membership okay fine so we can give the subject like this and message we can congrats congratulations for your membership so you can write your own body and uh, this is the example so abc at the rate example.com and xyz at example.com okay so one more thing I want to tell you is that uh, you can make a list of the you can make the list of it the recipients just like uh, uh, test at the rate test.com 
and make sure in the double quote or single quote fine so or uh, demo at the rate demo.com so this is the recipient list and uh, we can write the list over here to which we want to send the mail and uh, okay fine so this is just basic of the send mail and we need to import it send mail from this but to send email to anyone um, we need to define in the specific view so we have defined in the send mail so whenever the user will be authenticated and uh, the mail so the email will be sent this is just a static this is just an example but uh, this will send the mail uh, we can put this at anywhere in our view because uh, we put the static values so to do this one more thing I want to just uh, show you is the backends so in the email backends we need to specify the settings okay so generally we use gmail but you can use uh, yahoo or uh, outlook or anything you want uh, windows live or anything but uh, we need this settings email host email port email host user email host password email host tls ssl timeout and many more things but uh, the some required fields which is over here just like uh, go to the settings and uh, declare any just like over here okay so just make sure all the letters are capital just uh, email underscore host email host which is the host of our email just like uh, if you use if you're using smtp then smtp dot gmail.com is our host of email and uh, after that we need to specify host user so email email host underscore user is equal to your user your email id just like uh, test at the rate test.com so this will be your email id that means uh, okay email host password email password just like uh, anything you want just like abc 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 the password just doesn't matter over here then after that you need to specify the email port which is over here email port so if you use this then uh, gmail then 587 is the port and uh, email underscore you need to specify the tls what does this means you can go through this and uh, tls by default it's false by default it is false whether to use a tls connection when talking to the smtp server whenever we use this port 57 and smtp server we need to give the email use tls is equal to true okay fine so we need to give it as a true okay fine so this is how you can set your email host email user email password port and tls so after this setting you can use this dynamically in your views just like uh, go to the send email and uh, just go to this to functionality this is the email which is which we have defined in our settings so settings just make sure you need to import the settings like this from django.conf import settings and after this you need to go to the settings dot uh, the email host not email host but email host user so we need to just copy this and uh, just uh, paste it over here okay fine so this will fetch the email host user which is set which is set or defined over here so okay fine so we need to define just like this and uh, okay great just views okay so this is the dynamic which we have declared in the settings so if we want the recipient email id dynamically then what we need to do is 
we need to do the we need to get the email id which is sent which is provided in the forms so email is equal to form dot clean data as we have get the password and email as we have get the password so get clean data dot get and we need to get a email okay fine but uh, if you want to see that uh, what are the values we got in the form so we can print it out in the form so form value you can print it out like this okay fine so just go to the view and refresh it just uh, go to the admin log out and just go to the home view register and uh, okay so here nothing like this and uh, okay fine so test email address test at the rate test.com confirm email just copy and paste over here and password okay register okay this email id already used so we need to define another email address just copy and paste password okay register fine okay the user is already exist this is the validations which we have provided register okay fine just uh, okay we got some error we have seen how to send email when any new user is registered from our web app or website in next lecture we'll see solving the sending email error which we have in the previous lecture